scene 78.3. Hey y'all, Artist Poet Girl here, also known as APG Jamie. And today we're going to make some faux tea bags. And we're going to use that there deli wrap. Yes, it's another use for deli paper. You know, the kind you get sandwiches wrapped up in. So anyway, Mine's a 12 by 12, and I folded it in half. And if you start your fold in the middle there, it will um, pretty much not wrinkle, pretty much. Yeah. Now remember, deli paper is stronger, way stronger than tissue paper. Okay? So now I'm going to fold that about roughly two, two thirds over so that we have, see that little edge? there maybe you can see yeah so you fold it in half and then you fold it over about two-thirds okay now we're gonna cut it and I chose the measurement of uh, I know I measured <sighs> um, I'm gonna cut it at uh, two and a quarter inches this will give room to uh, let it slide easier in a pocket letter, which is how I got this initial idea anyway to do this. Of course, there may be other videos out there showing how to make a faux tea bag. I don't know. I didn't research. I just had this, you know, brain fart and I thought, hey, I'm going to show my friends because they might want to do this too. Mm -hmm. So anyway... Uh, making, I made a couple pocket letters and I didn't really want my stuff, uh, you know, the little treasure to float inside the pockets too much. If, if you move your ruler after you've cut with your, your knife there, you know, your cutting tool, use scissors because if you go back over it, you're liable to, liable? You're liable, liable to get, you know, rough edges and you don't want to do that necessarily. Of course, you know, <laughs> eh. It's me. So anyway, I wanted something to put the little treasures in so that they didn't necessarily fall out of the pockets too easily. Okay? And I thought, hey, you put tea bags in here. Why don't you make some little tea bags to put the treasures in instead of those little plastic bags? Okay? I got all this deli wrap. Why don't I try using deli wrap? So there you go. An idea was born. And there I'm cutting the halfway mark. That's the two-thirds fold, okay? So from each cut, you get two faux tea bags. And out of each piece of my 12 by 12, I get uh, a total of eight faux tea bags, which happens to be just perfect. Oh, this is, you know, Scotch Quit quick dry because you got to glue the little edge together and you're just putting glue on one little side there and one little side there and now you're going to fold it back up you want to you want to kind of keep it straight because yeah anyway oh I forgot where I was so my stuff didn't fall out anyway tea bags go in there and and oh yeah it was eight <laughs> tea bags which is perfect for the pocket letter letter pockets because you have eight little treasures typically not always you don't have to have any treasures okay so eight get little treasures and then one gets a letter because you know it's a pocket letter people okay so yeah and now I'm just going to trim this little corner off here to make it a little more resemblance to a tea bag now you can decorate your deli wrap you know you can use um, copy paper regular plain old printer paper whatever this is just an initial idea for y'all to play with if you haven't already had the idea yourself or seen it elsewhere okay just say okay like I said this is a brain fart I had and I wanted to share it with my friends because I love you and junk. So, any hoot. Now I've got uh, four more minutes 
to feel we're talking. I, I don't think I want to do musical interlude. Not even a little. Musical, musical, musical. Interlude. Uh, you kind of want to fold your little tab over. That's, you know, the little extra piece you have. Yep. See, it does kind of look like a tea bag, right? And here's some buttons. Yes, I'm going to actually use these in the pocket letter. Excuse, excuse me while I slip some, uh, slip, slip, <laughs> slip, some tea. I told you, sip. It's hot tea, y'all, because it's not hot enough here. So anyway, uh, I have two ones, and now I'm going to I'm going to actually close these, keep these sort of sealed with a um, little bit of washi tape. You can staple them closed. You can glue them closed. You can just fold them over. But I chose to use uh, washi tape. Because I have it, okay? So, yeah. And here comes one of the pocket letters. I'm not showing you the pocket letter. That's not what this video is about. The pocket letters are little, yeah. Okay, so there's some other little faux tea bags I made. And that's when I had the idea. I'm like, oh, well, IPG, just show your friends, okay? Okay. So, yeah, I'm trying to stuff too many in that one place, so it's not going to go. So, pull them back out. There you go. <sighs> See, it'll slide in there really pretty easily. That's why I made mine two and a quarter. You can make yours however big you want to make them, you know, because an ATC size, which is what fits in these baseball card uh, holder sleeves, is two and a half by three and a half but if you make them just slightly smaller they slide in the little pocket better and as you saw me shaking it they didn't really come out so yeah this is just a, just a little close-up so you can see the buttons in there or buttons depending on where you're from and how you pronounce it pronounce that's correct. And there is a plain empty bag. Uh, and um, you don't need much glue at all. You don't want this sopping wet, okay? And you just kind of fold that over. I'm going to slip in a little washi tape. Uh, it's a die cut of a bottle, and then I wrapped some washi tape around that. And you just fold that over. And get your little bit of washi tape to close it with. If you want it closed, you know. This is just an initial idea. I already said that. Go, okay. ta-da, there it is. So there's one I glued a string on to make it a little more like a tea bag. You know, like I said, you can decorate or, or not decorate or make or not make. Um, I just thought it was kind of neat. And I figured somebody might would want to see it. Did y'all like that? Thanks for watching. Happy arting, y'all.